Hey guys, welcome back. If you've also updated your phone to iOS 26, and here's how to fix your iPhone battery drain in iOS 26. Now, you probably noticed just the same as me that your iPhone battery immediately starts to drain. Now keep in mind, every time you do update, there are certain settings that get toggled on that will drain your battery life quicker. In this video, we'd like to show you some tips and tricks, as well as shortcuts that will help you get even more like wanna talk about the of iPhone battery in iOS 26 tips responses. And if you're interested in videos like this one with tips and tricks for the iPhone and other Apple products, my channel is exactly the right one for you. So feel free to subscribe now. Let's start the video. Now let's head into the settings app on your iPhone. We're going to do all of this in the settings app itself. The first thing that we will check is a really big fix iPhone charging draining quickly. So. Let's scroll down and tap on general here, midway down. And now from here again, we're going to scroll down and you can see background app refresh. Sometimes this gets toggled on, or if you haven't turned it off, tap on background app refresh. And now if this is turned on to either Wi-Fi or cell data, all of these apps will be able to run an update in the background, even if you don't have them open. This is one number one thing that causes your battery life to drain. So. I would recommend tapping on it and switching this to off. Now, after we've done that, let's go back out here to the very beginning of your settings. We're going to scroll down to the very bottom and you can see privacy and security midway down. Just tap on that. Now from here, we're going to check your location services. This is another big culprit. Every time your phone needs to connect to a satellite or your cell network and find your location, it drains your battery life. So we're going to scroll through here and find any of the apps with that little arrow that indicates that it's used your location recently. So for instance, Snapchat, for example. I don't need Snapchat to access my location. You can go through here and find any apps that you don't necessarily want to use your location. And if they have used it recently, you can switch it to never. Now, I would also recommend going down to the bottom and tapping on system services at the bottom. And now from here on, all of these, I would recommend mimicking my settings. So basically all of the ones that I have turned on are helpful and useful for find my, for emergency calls, etc. But you can see all of the ones that I have turned off. Make sure to turn off all of those as well, and it'll help save your battery life. Now, after we've done that, let's go back out of here. And I'm going to show you a brand new feature in iOS 26 on your iPhone settings associated with battery. And from here, you can see midway down is battery. Let's just tap on that. Now from here, you'll be able to see it's a new screen in iOS 26. And we're going to scroll down from here and tap on power mode towards the bottom. I would highly recommend turning on adaptive power. So if that is turned off, essentially your phone will just run normally all the time. However, if you turn on adaptive power, this will learn on your specific usage of your iPhone and help to tailor to give you more battery life down the road. Essentially, it will tell when it needs to reduce the brightness, reduce the basically running of processing and everything in the background, etc. So, I'd highly recommend turning that on. Now let's go back out here to the very beginning of your settings. Another big culprit is your mail app, believe it or not. Let's scroll down to the bottom and tap on apps at the very bottom. Search for mail app. So, tap on that. Now, you'll be able to see mail accounts at the very top. Let's tap on that. And on here, you're going to tap on Fetch New Data. If you have either Push Turned On, or if you have Fetch Turned On on any of these, I would recommend turning them off. This constantly checks for new email on your iPhone, draining your battery life. So, turn off Push. And on any of these, if it is set to Fetch, switch it to Manual. And then on here, under at the very bottom, under fetch, instead of automatic or hourly, make sure that is set to manual as well. Now that we've done all of those things, let's go back again to the very beginning of your settings. If your iPhone is also overheating, another big culprit is your IMP device, believe it or not. Now let's bottom and tap on, search for the IMP device, tap on the screen that appears, Click on this option and on the next screen, select analytics data. If there is an option for panic or thermal in this section, it means that your device has a hardware problem. 
If these options are not present in the entries on this page, your device has no problem. We're going to find your specific culprit on what's draining your battery. To do that, we're going to tap on battery midway down. And from here, you're going to check to see all right, these apps are using my battery. I'm going to hit view all battery usage. And now from here, if I scroll down, I'll be able to see which apps are using the most battery on my iPhone. You can see this is just for today and it's fairly early in the app midday so I haven't had a lot of battery drain. But if you do this later in the day essentially you'll be able to see on screen and background if any of these apps are using up a ton of your battery life. I would recommend on that specific app maybe consider deleting the app because there are some apps that when you use them, especially advertising programs apps when you use them, they drain your battery life super quickly. So unless that is an essential app that you use all the time and you really want, I would recommend finding the ones that are draining your battery life and then deleting them. I hope this helps. Again, if this helped you. That's it. And of course, I hope you enjoyed this short little video. If so, please leave a thumbs up. If you know any other tips and tricks, please let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more similar videos. And then we'll see you again in the next video. Until then, take care.